Standard costing variance analysis is a technique businesses use to keep track of their costs. It involves setting a standard cost for each item or activity and comparing actual costs to these standards, and then monitoring performance against that benchmark. Variance analysis is a technique used to compare actual costs to standard costs. This comparison can help managers identify areas where costs are higher than expected and take corrective action if necessary. Variance analysis can also assess the impact of price changes, volumes, or other factors on overall cost levels. Standard costing and variance analysis are essential tools for any business trying to control costs. They can help managers identify areas where costs need to be reduced and take action to improve profitability. Standard costing is an accounting method that uses predetermined costs for materials and labor to value inventory and calculate the cost of goods sold. Variance analysis is then used to compare actual results to the standard to identify where differences exist. Standard cost variances can be caused by many things, but are typically due to changes in material prices, labor rates, or productivity. Standard costing and variance analysis. Standard cost variances are an essential part of any manufacturing or production process. Variance analysis is used to investigate the causes of these variances and determine how to correct them. Standard costing is a tool that can be used to help manage these variances. There are two types of standard cost variances, static and dynamic. Static variances occur when there is no change in the price or quantity of the inputs used in production. Dynamic variances occur when there is a change in the price or quantity of the inputs used in production. Standard costing can be used to investigate both types of variances. When investigating static variances, the focus is on changes in the prices of the inputs used in production. Standard costing can help identify when these changes have occurred and how they have affected the cost of production. Standard costing can also be used to investigate dynamic variances, which is done by looking at the number of inputs used in production and how this has changed over time. Standard costing can help identify when there has been a change in the number of inputs used and how this has affected the cost of production. Standard costing is a valuable tool that can be used to investigate the causes of standard cost variances. It can help identify when changes have occurred in the prices or quantities of inputs used in production and how these changes have affected the cost of production. Standard costing is an integral part of any manufacturing or production process and should be used to help manage standard cost variances. What is the importance of standard cost variances? Cost accounting. Cost variance is crucial because it allows you to track the financial progression of your project. It is an indicator of how well you monitor and mitigate potential risks and how well you analyze data related to the project. You can also evaluate your cost variance to compare the budget and actual costs throughout a project your team completes, allowing you to improve your budget approaches that align with your goals. Another helpful aspect is that you can use historical data from similar projects to create a more accurate projection for the budget. Favorable or unfavorable cost variance standard costing. A few different types of cost variances can occur in business. Typically, cost variances can be categorized as either favorable or unfavorable. Favorable cost variances occur when actual costs are lower than expected costs. Unfavorable cost variances occur when actual costs are higher than expected costs. There are a few reasons why the expected cost of inventory might change when a company reruns its standard costs. One reason is that the prices of the raw materials used to produce the inventory may have changed. Another reason is that the company may have updated its information on labor costs or other production costs. Finally, the company may have changed its methods for calculating standard costs. The extent to which running standard costs will impact the inventory valuation will depend on how much the expected cost has changed and the size of the company's inventory. This is especially important if there have been significant changes in raw material prices or other production costs. The company can avoid overstating or understating its profits by keeping its inventory valuations up to date. Standard Cost Accounting Variance Analysis The company can analyze two types of variances, static and flexible. Static variance analysis compares the actual activity results with the static budget for that activity. In contrast, flexible variance analysis compares the actual activity results with the flexible budget for that activity. The standard cost accounting system is based on several assumptions, one of which is that all production activities are carried out at their planned output level. This means that the static budget will always show a surplus. However, production levels are rarely constant in reality, and there will often be times when actual production falls below the static budgeted level. When this happens, it is known as a static variance and must be analyzed to understand its cause and correct the problem. Flexible variance analysis compares the actual activity results with the flexible budget for that activity. The flexible budget is based on the assumption that production levels can vary and, as such, it will show a surplus or deficit depending on actual production levels. A static variance will occur if production falls below the static budgeted level. A flexible variance will occur if production falls below the flexible budgeted level. 
It is important to note that while standard cost accounting systems are based on several assumptions, these assumptions are not necessarily accurate in all cases. As such, it is crucial to be aware of the system's limitations and always carry out variance analysis with these limitations in mind. Standard Cost Accounting Variance Presentation and Summary Standard Costing Standard Cost Accounting Variance Analysis examines the difference between actual and standard costs. This type of analysis can be used to identify areas of inefficiency and potential cost savings. Two types of variances can be analyzed, price and quantity. Price variances occur when the actual price for a good or service differs from the standard price. Quantity variances occur when the actual quantity purchased or used differs from the standard quantity. Price variances can be divided into direct material, direct labor, and overhead. Direct material price variances occur when the actual price for raw materials differs from the standard price. Direct labor price variances occur when the actual wages paid to workers differ from the standard wages. Overhead price variances occur when the actual overhead costs differ from the standard ones. Quantity variances can also be divided into direct material, direct labor, and overhead. Direct material quantity variances occur when the actual quantity of raw materials used differs from the standard quantity. Direct labor quantity variances occur when the actual hours worked by employees differ from the standard hours. Overhead quantity variances occur when the actual overhead costs incurred differ from the standard overhead costs. Once all of the variances have been calculated, they can be summarized and presented in various ways. One standard method is to present them as a percentage of the total standard cost. Accounting variance analysis is a technique used to examine the difference between actual cost and standard costs. This type of analysis can be used to identify areas of inefficiency and potential cost savings. Are there tools to improve the analysis and presentation of variances? Standard costing. One of the critical aspects of financial analysis is the identification and interpretation of variances. Variances can arise for several reasons, including changes in economic conditions prices, quantities, etc. While variances can provide valuable insights into the performance of a company or business, they can also be challenging to analyze and interpret. Several tools can be used to improve the analysis and presentation of variances. These tools can help identify the causes of variances and determine their impact on financial statements. Additionally, they can assist in developing action plans to address unfavorable variances. Some of the most commonly used tools for variance analysis include trend analysis, regression analysis, and comparative analysis. Trend analysis is a tool that can be used to identify the direction and magnitude of changes in financial data over time. This information can be used to assess the impact of variances on financial statements. Additionally, trend analysis can help predict future activity levels and identify potential areas of concern. Regression analysis is another tool that can be used for variance analysis. This technique uses historical data to develop equations that describe the relationship between different variables. These equations can then be used to predict future values of the variables based on changes in other factors. This information can be used to assess the impact of variances on financial statements and develop action plans to address unfavorable variances. Comparative analysis is another tool that can be used for variance analysis. This technique involves comparing the financial data of one company or business to that of another. This information can be used to identify performance differences and assess the impact of variances on financial statements. Additionally, comparative analysis can help to develop action plans to address unfavorable variances. Several tools can be used to improve the analysis and presentation of variances. These tools can help identify the causes of variances and determine their impact on financial statements. Additionally, they can assist in developing action plans to address unfavorable variances. Some of the most commonly used tools for variance analysis include trend analysis, regression analysis, and comparative analysis. By using these tools, businesses and financial analysts can better understand the causes and effects of variances and develop strategies to address them effectively. Using business intelligence software to improve analysis and presentation of variances standard costing. Business intelligence software can improve the analysis and presentation of variances. This software can help organizations track and understand their performance against goals, budgets, and other vital metrics. By understanding where they are deviating from their targets, organizations can take corrective action to improve their results. Additionally, business intelligence software can help organizations communicate their results to stakeholders clearly and concisely. Business intelligence software can help organizations improve their decision-making processes and overall performance. There are several different business intelligence software solutions on the market. However, not all of these solutions are created equal. 
When selecting a business intelligence software solution, it is essential to consider the needs of your organization and the specific features you are looking for. Additionally, it is crucial to consider the price of the solution and whether or not it will fit within your budget. Ultimately, the goal is to find a business intelligence software solution that meets all your needs and provides you with the features you need at a price you can afford. If you are interested in using business intelligence software to improve your organization's performance, there are a few things that you should keep in mind. First, it is vital to ensure that you select a proper solution for your organization. There is no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to business intelligence software. Second, it is essential to ensure that you are using the software to its full potential. Simply having the software is not enough. You need to make sure you are using it to improve your analysis and presentation of variances. Finally, it is essential to remember that business intelligence software is the only tool you can use to improve your organization's performance. It would help if you also had well-defined goals, a clear understanding of your data, and a commitment to continuous improvement. By keeping these things in mind, you can be sure that you are making the most of your business intelligence software and using it to its full potential. What happens if the ERP miscalculates the variance calculation? Standard costing. If the ERP system miscalculates the variance calculation, it could cause severe problems for the company. The likely scenario is that the company would overstate its profits, leading to potential regulatory issues. Additionally, it could cause the company to miss out on significant opportunities to improve operations and control costs. In short, a miscalculation of the variance calculation could have far-reaching consequences for a company. Therefore, businesses must have a robust ERP system that can accurately calculate this vital metric. How do you fix ERP variance miscalculations? Standard costing. There are a few different ways to fix ERP variance miscalculations. The most common way is to adjust the budgeted amounts when errors occur. This can be done by either increasing or decreasing the revenue and expense amounts for the period. Another way to fix ERP variance miscalculations is to adjust the accounting methods used in the period. This could involve changing how depreciation is calculated or how inventory is valued. Finally, you can also restate financial statements from prior periods to correct errors. This is typically only done if the errors are material and significantly impact the financial statements. If you discover an error in your ERP variance calculations, it's essential to take action to correct the mistake. Depending on the severity of the error, you may need to adjust budgeted amounts, change accounting methods, or restate financial statements. These steps will help ensure that your financial statements are accurate and up to date. How do you determine the root cause of ERP variance miscalculations? There are a few different methods that can be used to root cause ERP variance miscalculations. One standard method is process mapping to understand the sequence of events that led to the incorrect calculation. Additionally, data analysis techniques can be used to identify any patterns or anomalies that may have caused the error. Additionally, speaking with those involved in the process can provide valuable insights into what may have gone wrong. Ultimately, by combining these different methods, it should be possible to get to the bottom of what caused the variance miscalculation. If a variance calculation is found, should standard costs be rerun soon, or should you wait until the next budget cycle? Standard costing. There is no definitive answer to this question, as it will depend on several factors specific to your company and situation. However, it is generally advisable to rerun standard costs as soon as possible after a variance calculation is found. This will ensure that your company's budget is accurate and up to date and can help avoid any potential issues that could arise from using outdated cost information. How do you investigate the root cause of a standard cost variance? It is essential to try and identify the root cause of a standard cost variance so that you can take corrective action if necessary. When investigating the root cause of standard cost variance, you must understand what standard costs are and how they are used. Standard costs in manufacturing and service industries are predetermined costs used as a benchmark for actual costs. Standard costs are predetermined for specific inputs or outputs, often used as benchmark numbers to compare actual results. Variances occur when actual costs differ from standard costs. By understanding why a variance exists, you can avoid future issues and keep costs as close to standard as possible. This will help you make the most effective corrective action possible. Many factors can cause standard cost variances, so it is essential to investigate all possible causes. Standard cost variances can signal problems within your business, so investigating them can help you identify and resolve them. Standard cost variances can have several causes, so it is crucial to investigate all possible causes before taking corrective action. Some of the most common causes include incorrect prices, incorrect quantities, incorrect standards, and changes in market conditions. There are several ways to investigate standard cost variances. Standard cost variances. Investigating standard cost variances allows businesses to understand where their money is being spent and make changes to improve efficiency. In standard costing, businesses establish a standard cost for each output unit. 
This standard cost includes all the direct and indirect costs of producing that unit. Once the standard cost is established, businesses compare it to the actual cost of production. Any differences between the two are called variances. As part of standard cost, it is essential to investigate variances. This helps ensure that the system is accurate and that there are no discrepancies. There are a few different ways to do this. 1. Reviewing standard costs periodically. 2. Checking actual costs against standard costs. 3. Investigating variances. Investigating variances can be done by looking at actual and standard costs. This can help to identify any areas where there may be discrepancies. Additionally, checking actual costs against standard costs can help verify the system's accuracy. Periodically reviewing standard costs can also help to ensure that the system is accurate and up to date. To investigate standard cost variances, you must collect data on prices and quantities. This data can be collected from invoices, purchase orders, timesheets, and other sources. Once you have this data, you can calculate the variances and compare them to your budget. There are a few possible explanations if your variances are higher than expected. First, you may be paying more for goods and services than anticipated due to inflation or changes in the market. Second, you may use more of the good or service than you plan due to inefficiency in your process or unexpected customer demand. Understand the calculations to investigate standard cost variances. To investigate variances, you must understand the item's standard cost. The standard cost is an item's theoretical or estimated cost based on its ingredients, labor, and overhead. If you want to investigate variances, you need to understand standard costs. Standard costs are the predetermined costs of producing one unit of output. They include all the materials, labor, and overhead costs associated with production. To calculate standard costs, you first need to determine the quantity of each input required to produce one output unit. Once you have that information, you can calculate the total standard cost by adding up all the individual input costs. To investigate variances, you must compare actual costs to standard costs. If there is a difference between the two, that indicates a variance. To calculate the magnitude of the variance, you subtract actual costs from standard costs. If actual costs are higher than standard costs, the variance is unfavorable. If actual costs are lower than standard costs, the variance is favorable. There are several different variances that you can calculate, but some of the most important include the following. Materials price variance. This measures the difference between the actual cost of materials and the standard cost. Materials quantity variance. This measures the difference between the actual quantity of materials used and the standard quantity required. Labor rate variance measures the actual and standard labor rates. Labor efficiency variance. This measures the difference between the actual labor hours worked and the standard amount of labor hours required. Overhead spending variance. This measures the actual and standard overhead costs. Overhead efficiency variance. This measures the difference between the actual output produced and the standard output that could have been produced with the same level of overhead costs. Investigating variances is crucial because it can help identify inefficiencies in your production process. By understanding where your actual costs differ from standard costs, you can make changes to improve your overall efficiency and lower your production costs. To calculate the standard cost, you first need to determine the quantity of each ingredient, the rate per hour for labor, and the overhead rate. Once you have all of this information, you can use the following formula. Standard cost equals plus plus plus. For example, if you were investigating the variance for a widget that requires two pounds of raw material at $5 per pound, two hours of labor at $10 per hour, and an overhead rate of $2 per hour, the standard cost would be Standard cost equals plus plus. Standard cost equals $40. To calculate the actual cost of the widget, you would need to know the quantities of each ingredient used, the actual hours of labor, and the actual overhead costs. You would then use the following formula. Actual cost equals plus plus plus. For example, if the actual quantities used were 3 pounds of raw material at $5 per pound, 2 hours of labor at $10 per hour, and an overhead rate of $2 per hour, the actual cost would be Actual cost equals plus plus. Actual cost equals $50. The difference between the standard cost and the actual cost is the variance. In this example, the variance would be $10. To calculate the percentage variance, you would divide the variance by the standard cost and multiply by 100. In this example, the percentage variance would be variance standard cost times 10 times 100, 25%. Checking for miscalculations when standard costs are used periodically is essential because standard cost variances can significantly impact your company's bottom line. To investigate standard cost variances, you will need to review your company's records and calculate the standard costs for each item. Once you have the standard costs, you can compare them to the actual costs incurred. If there are any discrepancies, you will need to determine the cause of the variance and take corrective action accordingly. You can ensure that your company uses standard costs effectively.
and efficiently by periodically checking for miscalculations. Talk to employees to investigate standard cost variances. From there, you can look into why there may be a difference between the standard and actual cost, which can involve anything from reviewing production records to speaking with employees. Investigating standard cost variances can help determine whether your costs align with your expectations. You can talk to employees to get information about standard and actual costs. This will help you identify any discrepancies between the two. Once you have identified any discrepancies, you can then take steps to correct them. Standard standard cost variances can significantly impact your business, so it is important to investigate them thoroughly. Doing so can help ensure that your costs align with your expectations and that your business is running smoothly. One of the best ways to investigate standard cost variances is to talk to employees. They may be able to provide insights into why costs are higher or lower than expected. Additionally, they can offer suggestions for how to improve standard costing processes. By talking to employees, you can get a better understanding of the standard cost variances and how to address them. When investigating standard cost variances, it is essential to talk to employees to understand what may have caused them. By talking to employees, you can better understand what factors may have played a role in the standard cost variance. This information can help determine how to address the variance. Review the production process to investigate standard cost variances. As part of your standard cost analysis, you'll need to investigate any variances from the standard cost. One way to do this is to observe the production process and look for areas where costs may be higher or lower than expected. If you see any areas of concern, you can discuss them with the relevant personnel to see if there are any ways to improve the situation. In some cases, standard cost variances may be due to inefficiencies in the production process. By identifying these issues and working to resolve them, you can help keep costs under control. One method is to review the production process and compare it to the standard process, as this can help identify areas where actual costs differ from standard costs. Another method is to review records of standard cost variances to see if any patterns can be identified. Finally, speaking with employees involved in the production process can also provide insights into potential causes of standard cost variances. Standard cost variances can be difficult to identify and investigate. One way to better understand where these variances originate is to observe the production process to help pinpoint areas where costs are not aligned with expectations. By observing the production process, you may be able to identify potential causes of standard cost variances and take corrective action. Once the root cause of a standard cost variance is identified, corrective action can be taken to improve the production process and reduce future variances. Conclusion Investigating Standard Cost Variances Investigating standard cost variances is an integral part of managing any business. Once the root cause of a standard cost variance is identified, corrective action can be taken to improve the production process and reduce future variances. By understanding the variances, you can make informed decisions about improving your processes and controlling costs. What are the signs a standard cost is wrong? If standard costs are not accurate, it can lead to several problems. For instance, managers may make decisions based on inaccurate information, leading to suboptimal results. Additionally, incorrect standard costs can impact the financial statements and cause errors in inventory valuation. Lastly, tracking and controlling costs can be challenging if the standard costs are inaccurate. All of these problems can lead to suboptimal performance for the company. Standard costing is a technique used in managerial accounting to estimate the cost of manufacturing product or providing services. It involves setting standard costs for each component of the product or service and then tracking actual costs against these standards. Standard costing can help guide managers to control and reduce costs, but it can also lead to inaccurate cost estimates if the standard costs are not based on accurate data. The standard cost figure is the average cost of manufacturing one product unit. This figure includes all the direct and indirect costs associated with production, such as materials, labor, and overhead. To calculate the standard cost, all you need is the total number of units produced and the total cost of production. There are a few signs that suggest a standard cost is inaccurate. Large variances are signs of incorrect standard costs. A few key signs are that a standard cost might be inaccurate or need revision. The most obvious sign is that actual costs consistently exceed the standard cost. If this is the case, the standard cost was likely calculated using outdated or incorrect information. The standard cost per unit can compare actual costs to budgeted costs. If the actual costs exceed the standard, the company is not achieving its financial goals. This information can be used to adjust the production process to reduce costs. First, if there is a discrepancy between the standard cost and the actual cost of production, this could indicate that the standard cost is inaccurate. Secondly, if there is a large amount of variation in the unit cost of production, this could also indicate that the standard cost is inaccurate. Finally, if the standard cost does not reflect the current market price of the product, this could also indicate that the standard cost is inaccurate. 
If you notice any of these signs, it is essential to review the standard cost and ensure it is accurate. If your standard costs have significant variances, it's a sign that something is wrong with your costing system inputs, process, people, or all three. Using an inappropriate methodology leads to incorrect standard costs. This could indicate that the standard cost was calculated using an inappropriate methodology. One problem with standard costing is that it often relies on historical data, which may not be accurate or representative of current costs. For example, if the standard cost of a particular component has been based on the cost of the last batch of 10 purchased, but the price of that component has since gone up, the standard cost will be too low. This can lead to managers making decisions based on inaccurate cost information. Another problem with standard costing is that it can encourage managers to find ways to artificially lower costs rather than find ways to improve efficiency and reduce waste. For example, suppose managers are given bonuses for meeting or exceeding their cost targets. They may be tempted to cut corners and use lower quality materials or components to meet their targets. This can lead to substandard products or services, damaging the company's reputation. To avoid these problems, companies must choose a standard costing method appropriate for their product or services and ensure that the standard costs are based on accurate data. Otherwise, they may have inaccurate cost information, leading to poor decision making and substandard product or services. Fluctuating production volumes lead to standard cost variances. One of the signs that a standard cost may be incorrect is if it doesn't align with the company's current production levels. If production has increased, but the standard cost remains the same, it's likely that the standard cost is too low. Conversely, if production has decreased, but the standard cost remains the same, it's likely that the standard cost is too high. In either case, this can lead to inefficiencies and losses. Fluctuating production volumes can lead to incorrect standard costs. Standard costs are based on an average production volume. If actual production volumes fluctuate significantly from this average, the standard cost will no longer be accurate. This can cause business problems, as they may make decisions based on incorrect cost information. There are a few ways to avoid this problem. First, businesses can try to keep production volumes relatively stable. This may not always be possible, but it can help to minimize fluctuations. Second, businesses can use a weighted average standard cost, which considers recent production volumes and is more accurate. Finally, businesses can adjust their standard costs periodically to reflect changes in production volumes. Another sign that a standard cost may be incorrect is if it doesn't match the actual production costs. This can happen for various reasons such as changes in raw materials prices or production methods. If the standard cost doesn't match the actual cost, it can again lead to inefficiencies and losses. Inaccurate data leads to standard cost variances. If the data used to calculate standard cost is inaccurate, the resulting standard cost will also be inaccurate. This can happen if the prices of raw materials or other inputs fluctuate more than you expect or if your production process is less efficient than you thought. If your standard cost calculation is based on low quality data, your standard costs will likely be incorrect. This can lead to several problems, including over or under invoicing, inaccurate inventory valuation, and poor decision making. It is essential to use high quality data sources to ensure accurate standard costs. These sources should be updated regularly and carefully vetted to ensure accuracy. Accurate data will help you avoid costly mistakes and ensure that your standard costs are as accurate as possible. Incorrect assumptions lead to standard cost variances. If your standard cost assumptions are incorrect, your standard costs will be inaccurate. This can lead to suboptimal decision making and ultimately lower profits. Ensure you thoroughly understand your cost drivers before setting standard costs. Otherwise, you risk making suboptimal decisions based on inaccurate information. One of the essential aspects of standard costing is ensuring that all assumptions are correct. Any inaccuracies will flow to the standard cost, leading to distorted financial reports. For example, if the standard cost of raw materials is underestimated, this will understate the cost of goods sold and overstate profits. Similarly, if the standard hours required to complete a task are overestimated, this will overstate the cost of labor and understate profits. Therefore, all assumptions used in standard costing must be reviewed regularly to ensure accuracy. Otherwise, incorrect standard costs could lead to serious decision-making errors. The resulting standard costs will be inaccurate if you make incorrect assumptions about your production process. For example, your standard costs will be too low if you assume that your production line can produce 100 widgets per hour, but it can only produce 80 widgets per hour. Outdated information leads to standard cost variances. One of the dangers of using outdated information is that it can lead to incorrect standard costs. The resulting standard costs will be inaccurate if the information is used to calculate standard costs. This can happen if prices have changed since you last updated your standard cost, or if your production process has changed and you haven't updated your standard costs accordingly. Standard costs are essential for pricing and budgeting purposes, so they must be as accurate as possible. 
If your standard costs are based on outdated information, they may no longer be accurate, leading to problems. To avoid this, keep your standard cost information up to date. This way, you can be confident that your numbers are accurate, and you won't run into any unwanted surprises later on. Who is responsible for calculating correct standard cost figures? The person responsible for calculating standard costs should understand accounting and finance this is typically a management or cost accountant. They should also be able to use software to generate accurate reports. What to do about standard cost variances? If you suspect that the standard cost may be incorrect, it's crucial to investigate further and determine whether or not it needs to be updated. Doing so can help keep your company efficient and avoid costly mistakes. If your standard costs have significant variances, it's essential to look at your costing system to identify the cause of the problem and ensure that your standard costs are accurate. Otherwise, you may make decisions based on inaccurate information, which can lead to costly mistakes. If your standard costs are incorrect, you can do a few things to fix the problem. First, you'll need to identify the root cause of the incorrect costs. This could be due to an error in the calculation or because the cost of the item has changed. Once you've identified the cause, you can correct the standard cost and update your records. You may also need to adjust your prices if the incorrect standard cost has affected your bottom line. 7. 5 Tips for Performing a Standard Cost Variance Deep Dive Analysis When it comes to product pricing and cost analysis, conducting a standard cost variance deep dive is essential to understanding where your organization stands. By delving into the details of your cost, you can identify inefficiency and potential savings areas. Here are three key reasons why you should perform a standard cost variance deep dive analysis. 1. To understand the drivers of cost variances. A standard cost variance deep dive analysis can help you pinpoint the root causes of cost variances. This information can be used to improve processes and eliminate waste. 2. To identify process improvements. By understanding where your organization's costs are coming from, you can identify opportunities for process improvements. Implementing these improvements can lead to significant cost savings. 3. To make informed decisions about pricing and products. Cost variance is the difference between the actual cost of something and the standard cost. Several factors, such as changes in raw materials prices or production methods, can cause this. To make informed decisions about pricing, and products, it's important to understand cost variances and how they can impact your bottom line. 1. Know what you're looking for standard costing. When investigating cost variances, you must know precisely what you're looking for. Otherwise, you may end up wasting time and resources on irrelevant information. Make sure to identify the specific cost-related issue you want to investigate, and then focus your efforts on gathering data related to that issue. 2. Gather data from multiple sources standard costing. Investigating cost variances is not a one-size-fits-all process. Depending on the specific issue you're trying to resolve, you may need to gather data from multiple sources. This could include financial reports, accounting records, inventory data, production reports, etc. The more data you have at your disposal, the easier it will be to identify the root cause of the cost variance. 3. Ask questions and get clarification standard costing. If, at any point during your investigation, you're unsure of something, don't hesitate to ask questions and get clarification. This could involve talking to managers, employees, or even outside experts. The more information you have, the easier it will be to resolve the cost variance issue. 4. Keep accurate records standard costing. Throughout the investigation process, you must keep accurate records of everything you do. This will include the data you collect, the questions you ask, and the conclusions you reach. These records will be essential if you need to review the investigation or present your findings to others. Investigating cost variances can be a complex, and time-consuming process. However, by following these tips, you can ensure that your investigation is as effective as possible. 5. Check for errors in the data input. This is the most common cause of standard cost variances standard costing. One of the most important things to do when creating a standard cost system is to check for data input errors. This is because even a tiny error can have a significant impact on the accuracy of the system. There are a few different ways to check for errors, but the most common method is to use a control total. A control total is simply a sum of all the input data. If the sum does not match the expected value, there is an error in the data. Another way to check for errors is to use range checks. This involves checking that each value falls within a specific range. For example, if you know that the quantity of an item should be between 1 and 100, then you can check that each value falls within this range. If you find an error in the data, it is essential to correct it as soon as possible. Standard Cost Variance Analysis Conclusion when setting standards, many nuances and requirements must be met to produce reasonable standard costs. An essential prerequisite is reliable data to base the standards. This data must be complete, accurate, and timely. In addition, it must be appropriate for the purpose for which the standard cost is being developed.
For example, data from a past period may not be suitable for developing a standard cost for a future period. Once data requirements have been met, the next step is to select an appropriate basis for setting the standard cost. This can be challenging, considering many factors such as market conditions, production processes, and government regulations. Once a basis has been chosen, the standard cost can be calculated. Finally, the standard cost must be reviewed and updated regularly to ensure that it remains accurate and relevant. By following these steps, companies can develop reliable standard costs that will help them to manage their businesses effectively. There are numerous alternative approaches to costing, each of which has perks and drawbacks, and the approach that is optimal for your company depends on how it runs its operations. However, just as with anything else, the results you obtain from your chosen pricing are directly proportional to the effort you put into it. Do not aim for an accuracy of 100%, regardless of the cost technique, if you cannot guarantee the same degree of precision in your inventory. In addition, if you do not make an effort to record expenses accurately and promptly, you will not get the benefits of the costing approach that you have chosen. In addition, there is no use in collecting data if you are not going to utilize it to improve things, whether in the form of variances or some other fashion. Standard cost variances investigation tips 10 questions to ask. The standard costing cycle is a process that companies use to determine the cost of their product or services. This information is then used to set prices and decide production and marketing strategies. The cycle consists of four steps, collecting data, analyzing costs, setting prices, and reviewing results. The process has many steps that take time and effort to do well. Once your organization is comfortable using standard costs, investigating whether to use average costing instead next year and benefit from the many improvements would be a wise idea. When we analyze standard cost variances, what is our materiality level for unexplained variances? Why don't we know what drives our variances and how to control them? When we analyze strategic costs, one of the critical considerations is materiality. For many organizations, unexplained variances represent a material amount of money that needs to be accounted for and controlled. However, we often don't know what drives our variances or how to control them. This can lead to frustration and confusion when trying to manage strategic costs. One of the challenges with strategic cost variances is that they can be pretty complex. Many factors can contribute to a variance, making it difficult to isolate the root cause. If you're unsure what's driving your strategic cost variances, it's time to take a closer look at your costing system. With the right tools and information, you can get a handle on your costs and start making strategic decisions to improve your bottom line. This is why it's so important to have a robust costing system in place. With a sound system, you can track all the relevant data and identify the key drivers of your variances. One way to overcome this challenge is to understand your organization's cost drivers deeper. By identifying the factors that drive your costs, you can develop strategies to control them better. Additionally, by tracking your actual costs against your standards, you can identify areas where improvements can be made. By taking these steps, you can gain greater control over your strategic costs and improve your bottom line. When investigating variances and in standard costs, there are key tips to keep in mind to ensure accuracy and completeness in your findings. There are two main cost variance types, price and quantity. The price variance is the difference between the actual price of raw materials and the standard price. This can be caused by changes in the market price of the raw material or by errors in the standard price set by the company. Quantity variance is the difference between the actual quantity of raw material used and the standard quantity. This can be caused by changes in production methods or errors in the standard quantity set by the company. First, review all documentation related to the variances in question. This includes any changes that may have been made to the original budget or forecast and any new information that may have come to light since the variance was first identified. Next, please speak with the individuals responsible for creating the budget or forecast to get their insights into what may have caused the variance. Finally, simulate the proposed changes to see how they impact the overall cost structure. By following these tips, you can be confident that you are getting to the root cause of the problem and making the best possible decision for your organization. 1. Check the amount of the variance. A minor variance may not be worth investigating, while a large one may warrant a closer look standard costing variances. When creating a budget, one of the most important things to consider is the variance between your projected and actual costs. A minor variance may not be worth investigating, while a large one may warrant a closer look. For example, let's say you projected that it would cost $100 to produce 100 widgets. However, when you produce the widgets, it costs $110. This 10% variance is significant and warrants further investigation. On the other hand, let's say you projected that it would cost $100 to produce 100 widgets, which costs $105. This 5% variance is insignificant and may not warrant further investigation. 
In general, a standard cost variance of more than 5% should be investigated to determine the cause of the discrepancy. When investigating a variance, it is essential first to check the amount of the variance. A slight variance may not be worth investigating, while a large one may warrant a closer look. This is because standard cost variances can be caused by many factors, some of which may be out of your control. For example, a minor variance could be caused by a change in the price of raw materials, while inefficiencies in your production process could cause a more significant variance. By checking the amount of the variance, you can save time and resources by only investigating those variances that are likely to have a significant impact on your business. 2. Consider the timing of the variance. A one-time event is less likely to be repeatable and therefore more accessible to fix than a recurring problem standard costing variances. When it comes to standard cost variance, timing is everything. The one-time event is less likely to be repeatable, and therefore easier to fix than a recurring problem. This is why it's essential to consider the timing of the variance when making decisions about how to address it. By taking into account the frequency and duration of the problem, you can more effectively target your solution and ensure it is successful in the long run. When production falls behind schedule, manufacturers quickly point the finger at the workers. But before you start assigning blame, it's essential to consider the timing of the variance. The one-time event is less likely to be repeatable, and therefore easier to fix than a recurring problem. If the issue is isolated to a specific day or shift, there is likely an issue with staffing or training. On the other hand, if the problem is ongoing, it could indicate a more significant issue with your process or equipment. In either case, it's essential to take a close look at the root cause of the problem before taking corrective action. By understanding the timing of the variance, you can more effectively identify and solve production issues. 3. Determine whether the variance is due to an isolated event or systemic issue. An isolated event is more accessible to correct than a systemic problem standard costing variances. Regarding cost variances, it's essential to determine whether the issue is isolated or systemic. An isolated event is more accessible to correct than a systemic problem. To do this, compare the standard cost of the good or service to the actual cost incurred. If the difference is significant, it's likely a systemic issue. When a company experiences a variance in its standard cost, it's essential to determine whether the issue is isolated or systemic. An isolated event is usually easier to correct than a systemic problem. A few indicators can help determine whether a cost variance is due to an isolated event or a systemic issue. First, consider how many times the variance has occurred. If it's only happened once, it's likely an isolated event. Then, look at how significant the variance is. A minor variance is more likely to be caused by an isolated event than a large one. Finally, think about what could have caused the variance. If there's a clear and identifiable cause, like a supplier error, then it's probably an isolated event. 4. Look for patterns in the variances. If there is a pattern, it may indicate a systematic problem to be addressed standard costing variances. Manufacturing companies often use standard costing to track the cost of goods sold. Standard costing assigns a standard or expected cost to each production unit. The cost incurred for each manufactured unit is then compared to the standard cost. The difference between the two is called a variance. Variances can be either favorable or unfavorable. A favorable variance indicates that the actual costs are less than expected, while an unfavorable variance indicates that the actual costs exceed the expected costs. Companies should look for patterns in their variances to identify potential problems. For example, if there is a pattern of unfavorable variances in direct labor, it may indicate a problem with employee productivity. If there is a pattern of unfavorable variances in material cost, it may indicate a problem with supplier quality or price increases. 5. Talk to employees who are responsible for the activities that cause the variances. They may be able to provide insights into the causes of the variances' standard costing variances. In any organization, it is crucial to ensure that employees know the company's standards and are working to meet them. When variances occur, it is essential to talk to the employees responsible for the activities that cause them. They may be able to provide insights into the causes of the variances. You can better understand what happened and take steps to prevent future variances by talking to these employees. 1. When identifying the root cause of a standard cost variance, it is important to talk to employees responsible for the activities that caused the variances. They may be able to provide insights into the causes of the variances. 2. Talking to employees responsible for the activities that caused the variances can help managers identify the root cause of the variance. These employees may be able to provide insights into why the variance occurred. 3. If a manager wants to discover why a standard cost variance occur, they should speak with employees responsible for the activities that caused it. These employees may have information that can help explain the variance. 6. Review past investigations of similar variances. This can help you identify potential causes 
and solution standard costing variances. Reviewing past investigations of similar variances can help you identify potential causes and solutions. For example, past investigations of standard cost variances can help you identify potential causes and solutions if you are investigating a standard cost variance. This can be especially helpful if the cause of the variance is not immediately apparent. Reviewing past investigations can also help you identify any commonalities between the variances, which can further help you narrow down the potential causes. 7. Use root cause analysis to identify the underlying causes of the variances. This will help you develop a plan to address the problems. When a company experiences cost variances, it is vital to use root cause analysis to identify the underlying causes of the problem. This will help you develop a plan to address the problems. There are many potential causes of cost variances, but some common ones include poor planning, changes in raw materials prices, and inefficiencies in the production process. Using root cause analysis, you can identify the specific causes of your cost variances and develop a plan to address them. This approach can be applied to any cost variance related to standard costs. To conduct a root cause analysis, you will need to gather data on the variance and the factors that may have contributed to it. Once you have this information, you can begin identifying patterns and relationships that will help you pinpoint the underlying causes of the variance. Eighth, implementing corrective action to fix the problems causing the variances. This may include changes to procedures, training, or other areas standard costing variances. When a company is trying to find the root cause of its cost variance, it will need to look closely at its procedures and processes. The root cause of cost variance is often inefficiencies in these areas. To fix the problem, the company will need to implement corrective action. This may include changes to procedures, training, or other areas. The company can improve its bottom line and avoid future cost variances by taking corrective action. 1. Standard cost variances are caused by many factors, some of which can be fixed through corrective action. 2. Changes to procedures, training, and other areas may help to fix the problems that are causing the variances. 3. Corrective action should be taken to improve the accuracy of standard cost and reduce the amount of variance. When a company experiences variances, it is essential to take corrective action to fix the problems causing them. This may include changes to procedures, training, or other areas. Corrective action can help a company avoid future variances and improve its overall performance. 9. Monitor the corrective action results to ensure variances are reduced or eliminated. This will help you determine whether the corrective action was effective standard costing variances. When a company is trying to improve its overall performance, one critical data that managers need to track is the standard cost variance. This is the difference between the actual cost of producing something and the amount that was budgeted for that item. By monitoring this variance, companies can determine whether their corrective actions have the desired effect. Revising the corrective action plan may be necessary if the variances are not reduced or eliminated. Sometimes, it takes a minor tweak to get things back on track. Other times, more drastic measures may be needed. But regardless of what's required, it's essential to keep a close eye on the standard cost variance to make improvements where necessary. 10. Document the entire process so that you can refer back to it in the future. This will help you improve your investigation process over time standard costing variances. Documenting the entire process of your investigation into standard cost variance will help you to improve your process over time. By having a written record of your steps, you can look back and see what worked well and what could be improved. Additionally, this will allow you to track your progress and ensure that you are consistently improving. Investigating standard cost variance can be a complex process, but it is essential to document every step so that you can learn from your mistakes and successes. This process should include collecting, analyzing, and coming up with conclusions. After each investigation, take some time to reflect on what went well and what could be improved. Doing this will gradually improve your skills and make you more efficient in your investigations. 5 Tips for Performing a Standard Cost Variance Analysis Deep Dive When it comes to product pricing and cost analysis, conducting a standard cost variance deep dive is essential to understanding where your organization stands. By delving into the details of your cost, you can identify inefficiency and potential savings areas. Here are three key reasons why you should perform a standard cost variance deep dive analysis. 1. To understand the drivers of cost variances. A standard cost variance deep dive analysis can help you pinpoint the root causes of cost variances. This information can be used to improve processes and eliminate waste. 2. To identify process improvements. By understanding where your organization's costs are coming from, you can identify opportunities for process improvements. Implementing these improvements can lead to significant cost savings. 3. To make informed decisions about pricing and products. Cost variance is the difference between the actual cost of something and the standard cost. 
Several factors, such as changes in raw materials prices or production methods, can cause this. To make informed decisions about pricing and products, it's important to understand cost variances and how they can impact your bottom line. 1. Know what you're looking for standard costing variances. When investigating cost variances, you must know precisely what you're looking for. Otherwise, you may end up wasting time and resources on irrelevant information. Make sure to identify the specific cost-related issue you want to investigate, and then focus your efforts on gathering data related to that issue. 2. Gather data from multiple sources standard costing variances. Investigating cost variances is not a one-size-fits-all process. Depending on the specific issue you're trying to resolve, you may need to gather data from multiple sources. This could include financial reports, accounting records, inventory data, production reports, etc. The more data you have at your disposal, the easier it will be to identify the root cause of the cost variance. 3. Ask questions and get clarification standard costing variances. If at any point during your investigation you're unsure of something, don't hesitate to ask questions and get clarification. This could involve talking to managers, employees, or even outside experts. The more information you have, the easier it will be to resolve the cost variance issue. 4. Keep accurate records standard costing. Throughout the investigation process, you must keep accurate records of everything you do. This will include the data you collect, the questions you ask, and the conclusions you reach. These records will be essential if you need to review the investigation or present your findings to others. Investigating cost variances can be a complex, and time-consuming process. However, by following these tips, you can ensure that your investigation is as effective as possible. 5. Check for errors in the data input. This is the most common cause of standard cost variances standard costing variances. One of the most important things to do when creating a standard cost system is to check for data input errors. This is because even a tiny error can have a significant impact on the accuracy of the system. There are a few different ways to check for errors, but the most common method is to use a control total. A control total is simply a sum of all the input data. If the sum does not match the expected value, there is an error in the data. Another way to check for errors is to use range checks. This involves checking that each value falls within a specific range. For example, if you know that the quantity of an item should be between 1 and 100, then you can check that each value falls within this range. If you find an error in the data, it is essential to correct it as soon as possible. Here is some example of cost variance concerning specific cost standard costing variances. Direct material price variance, labor rate variance, variable overhead spending variance, fixed overhead spending variance, purchase price variance, point in time variance, cumulative cost variance. Cost variance is a popular tool among cost accountants and project managers for tracking actual costs against budgeted costs. By continuously monitoring cost variance, these professionals can make financial adjustments as needed throughout the project to keep it on track. Additionally, cost variance provides valuable insights into where money is being spent and why. By investigating and reporting on the reasons for variances, cost accountants can give management teams helpful information that can help them make decisions about future projects. As a result, cost variance is essential to effective financial management. What happens if standard cost variances are ignored? If production variances are ignored, it can lead to increased costs and decreased profits. Additionally, ignoring production variances can cause inventory levels and quality control problems. Therefore, monitoring production variances closely and taking corrective action when necessary is essential. If production variances are ignored, it can lead to significant problems. For example, if a company is not tracking its material cost, it may miss opportunities to save money. Additionally, ignoring production variances can lead to inaccurate financial statements and ultimately cause a company to make poor decisions. What is the significance of a standard costing for root cause analysis? Sure, again, the simplest way to understand manufacturing variances for each component is to evaluate the differences between standard and actual as a price and or usage variance. This is the case regardless of whether the component is a material, labor, or manufacturing overhead. After that, the most critical stage is to conduct in-depth research into the factors that led to those variations to figure out how to convert the findings into information that can be put into practice and lead to ongoing improvements on the shop floor. Take, for instance, is it possible that a flawed standard costing system in manufacturing is the root cause of most cost issues? It's not quite that. The configuration of your financial systems is frequently the root cause of many problems with conventional costing data. For managers to observe and produce essential indicators that will drive continuous improvement, your manufacturing standard cost system should be configured to acquire and data mine a significant portion of the crucial information that makes up your costing data. In addition, for these indicators to be of any use, they need to be connected to the system that handles your finances and accounting for the system to be considered sophisticated. 
Critical information may be lost in the transmission of data if the configuration of your financial system is not set up correctly. This creates a significant obstacle for anybody attempting to conduct an efficient and timely investigation into the source of a problem. How accountants and organizations can find insights in standard cost variances. Organizations can find essential insights by looking at variances. For example, if there is a significant variance between budgeted and actual cost, this could be an indication that something is wrong with the organization's financial controls. By looking at variances, accountants can help organizations to identify potential problems and take corrective action. Another way that variances can be used to find insights is by looking at trends. For example, if costs have been trending upward for several periods, this could be an indication that the organization needs to take steps to control costs. By looking at variances over time, organizations can identify trends and take action to address them. Finally, variances can also be used to compare performance between different organizational periods or units. This can help to identify areas where improvements need to be made. For example, if one unit consistently has higher costs than another, this could indicate problems with that unit's cost control procedures. When used correctly, variances can be a powerful tool for finding insights and improving organizational performance. Accountants can play a crucial role in helping organizations use this information. Standard Cost Variances Introduction to the Essentials Conclusion Production variances are a part of doing business, and as long as you understand what they are and how to correct them, they can be manageable. Using standard costing in your business, you can keep track of production variances and take corrective action when necessary. Have you ever dealt with production variance in your own business? If so, we'd love to hear about it in the comments section below.